some of the condition that requires braces include i want to just start with my own condition mm. Welcome back to my channel again it's your favorite dentist to follow manase and i'm back with another interesting video for today's video guys i'm going to be talking about braces why i'm wearing braces and other indications for braces but before we dive into today's video let's quickly appreciate promise dibia and udeme friday both of them made suggestions for today's video so promise dibia udeme friday we see you guys we appreciate you keep on supporting keep on being part of the team if you guys are new to the channel you are welcome to join the team by subscribing feel free to comment like and share our videos yeah so the teeth functions basically not just to help us masticate that's grind our food it also plays a role in the formation of our face for instance if the teeth are protruded out like in this case you notice that the face will be shaped in that manner also if the teeth are missing or they are positioned inwards the face will appear to be flat or collapsed as the case may be it also helps to improve our smile like if the teeth are crowded the smile of this particular person is going to be poor sometimes the person might not have the confidence enough to smile and then lastly it plays a role in our speech for instance if the teeth are missing like the front teeth to be particular are missing or there is like a wide diastem or that space or there's like an open bite like the upper teeth and lower teeth are not in contact with one another you'll be hearing words like 66 being pronounced 66 so basically the teeth functions in mastication formation of our looks that's aesthetics improve our smile and then our speech normally this is supposed to be arranged in the arch like this notice how these teeth are in contact with one another and then appreciate this smooth curl down here and that up here on opening the mouth then on closing the mouth the upper jaw teeth in the front is supposed to just overlap or cover just about one third of the lower teeth down here that's what we call an overbite here and then the overlapping space is just supposed to be two to three mm right that's what we call overject in dentistry that's that for the front seat then for the posterior seat the cups of the upper jaw is just supposed to sit on the groove as you can see here and then for the premolar it's supposed to be in between like in the interdental space right yeah so that's what normal occlusion should be like but in some conditions this alignment could be altered and then depending on the severity of the alteration or malalignment some of these functions might be lost right yeah now that is where braces come in so braces are fixed orthodontic appliances that are worn basically to put the teeth back in normal alignment and occlusion thereby restoring the function some of the condition that requires braces include i'm going to just start with my own condition here number one scissor bite this is actually a picture of my mouth just before getting braces now notice how the upper jaw teeth completely overlaps the lower ones on one side besides losing their masticatory function these teeth became super erupted and then nothing is done about it it could result to foot packing in between the teeth gum pain gum irritation and eventually lost of the involved teeth also there could be a condition called disuse atrophy now because i'm not using one side of my mouth to eat it could result to the muscle of that side shrinking over time and then causing my face to be flat on that side another complication would be tmj pain because i'm using just one side to eat i'm overworking that side of my jaw a dysfunction could occur on that side of my jaw giving me tmj problems like pain and then a clicking sound and difficulty in opening the mouth here i could be finding it difficult to eat with time so that's basically why i had to go get braces to put my teeth back in normal occlusion yeah number two condition is cross bite here the lower jaw teeth tends to overlap the upper ones giving it a cross bite now this condition could give rise to tooth grinding temporomandibular joint pain frequent headache and even difficulty in speaking or pronouncing some words number three condition is crowding this most of the time happens as a result of tooth size arch length discrepancy in addition to loss of confidence to smile this patient will also not be able to maintain good oral hygiene because the toothbrush bristle will not be able to reach all the surfaces of the teeth this could result to bad breath irritation of the gum because of the deposit that is being accumulated gum bleeding and eventually loss of the involved teeth 
Yeah. Number four condition is spacing. Gap seed or diastema may be seen as a sign of beauty, but in dentistry, it is considered as an anomaly. And apart from being associated with difficulty making some sounds in severe cases, spaced teeth may be at high risk of tooth loss when involved in trauma. And then number five, anterior open bite. Most of the times, this happens as a result of poor oral habits like tongue thrusting, tongue sucking, digit sucking, biting on hard subjects like pen, pencil. Now, because this habit restricts the upper and lower teeth from having contact with one another, an open bite is created thereby making it difficult for the patient to bite or pronounce some words. Our last but not the least is increased overjet. This condition may interfere with good oral seal, making it difficult for the lips to completely cover the mouth, resulting to mouth breathing, drilling of saliva, dry mouth, and ultimately poor facial aesthetics. Thank you guys for watching. As always, I love you guys. Stay healthy and smile with confidence. Adios.